Well, with that increased need for certain medical equipment, there was a local effort today to get donated supplies into the right hands. Two on your side's Ron Plants brings us this story from West Seneca. By now, I'm sure you've heard the initials PPE for personal protective equipment for the healthcare workers who are dealing directly with the virus. And we found out today about a special effort to make sure that they will be supplied with some of the equipment they need. It actually began over the weekend when the West Seneca Teachers Union President Joe Cantafio got a call from another teacher. She explained to me that her friend was an emergency room nurse at ECMC and she was thinking if she could get into um, a uh, science classroom and maybe get her some goggles and gloves and uh, some protective equipment that she could use because they're short of it. In turn, Cantafio realized there was plenty of similar equipment at the currently empty high schools and middle schools, so he contacted his district superintendent, Mac Bystrack, and school administrators. And within 48 hours, uh, our administrators went into the buildings, gathered up over a thousand goggles and dozens of masks and hundreds of gloves and dozens of gowns and thousands of uh, wipes. The collected items were brought to East Middle School to be packed up in boxes and bags. As you can see right here, boxes and boxes. Some are brand new, some are not. But whatever we have, we're donating. Then Cantafio and others took those collected supplies and with the help of West Seneca Police, transported them to ECMC. The Medical Center's Senior Vice President of Nursing, Karen Zemanski, says hospital staffers were humbled and grateful to see these donated items that can help protect them. There will also be an effort to contact other school districts here in western New York, other teachers unions and educators to make sure that they can also line up other schools for similar donation efforts in the future. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.